up guys and welcome back to the channel. So tomorrow is the first gravel race of the year that is Flint Hills Gravel Ride in America's Kansas. Right now we are at Base Camp Flint Hills. This is about 15 minutes away in Allen, Kansas. I wanna give you guys a rundown of the camper setup. We've got the awning on, we got the rack installed. So I kinda of wanna show this. Today we brought Kim's Jeep, perfect little vehicle for this setup in the back just kind of keep all of our clothes if we've got the solo stove a cooler whatever we can throw that back here always lots of fresh water and then this little rack on the camper works out perfect for putting our firewood strapping this down got the spare wheel and tire here and then this is now the best feature of this setup in my opinion because it just creates so much more of a living space if it rains uh, if it's sunny We've got a space to chill, kind of like a living room, if you will. So I'm gonna take you guys inside the camper right now. Enough, enough space for Kim and I to sleep. Fantastic fan up there, some shelves, couple sleeping bags, pillows, pretty simple setup. And I'll say this, it gets incredibly cool in this camper with that fan, with the windows open, that fan going, it's really, really nice. I sleep really good in here. So now I'm gonna take you guys back here to the kitchen area. So what's great about this setup is we can bring Kim's car or my truck and we can just put the bikes on the back of the camper. So then back here in the kitchen, uh, we had shelving back here, but it was really, really uh, just when you drove, things got scattered. So we ended up taking out the shelving and then putting two Tupperwares back here. We've got all of our uh, utensils, plates, everything you would need to cook. I've got two camp stoves here and then we've got dry foods up front and then we've got a cooler in the truck too, a small cooler because this is just a two night trip. Under here, if we get a flat, we've got a jack. If we've got shore power uh, at a campsite with shore power, we've got um, all the plugs and hookups for that. So, you know, it's a simple setup, but you know, when it's time to clean up, we can be done in no time and out of there. And then, you know, when we get here, I mean, we're set up in 10 minutes. We just gotta get the awning out and kind of get the chairs out and we're good to go. So. That's the camping setup and uh, we're digging it. But guys, I will see you tomorrow morning for Flint Hills Gravel, 87 big gravel miles. sure if you guys can see in the distance but there's a bunch of smoke and then like the field certain fields are like black every spring out here they do controlled burns where they burn the fields and it's pretty cool I mean the fields are literally just on fire but it has something to do with like burning to rejuvenate the soil I don't know all the science but it's pretty wild Boys playing. And the jukebox is the best there is in town Safety free at a happy hour Country song When you roll by some of these fields that have recently been burned you can actually feel the heat coming off of the ground It's kind of a it's kind of a good feeling weird sensation with it being cold out but yeah it's kind of nice Whiskey size On my gravel bike I run a 2x 11 setup. I've got a 48 31 on front with 11 11 32 in the back. And yeah, I probably don't use the 31 enough for around where I live or if I'm using this bike for a road ride, which I do. Uh, but out here in the Flint Hills, I'll tell you what, I appreciate that that uh, 31 tooth small front chain ring. So I just ran into Eric, the owner, promoter, the man when it comes to open range 
gravel. What's up, Eric? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey guy. Hey, make sure you guys hop on his site, get registered for open range. You wouldn't believe that this is in Kansas. I mean, this race is like, you're on freaking Mars. It's the same knees and man to talk to. So you know if it's a Bobby Thompson design route, it's gonna have a healthy dose of B roads. Never let a sound at all that night. Don't you feel a little better singing, drinking songs together? A little 16 bars of hero day. Wrong turn. Dropping into that foot. <laughs> Everybody, Amanda Panda, two-time DK champion. How's your day going? Good, how are you? Doing well. I'm glad it's only 88 miles though. Yeah. I'll tell you that. This headwind is not helping. No. Well, a bunch of boys come in right after midnight. They finished up the late shift, so I do. Hey people, I've been out here riding the majority of the day with Jared. Jared goes 260 plus, and we're out here trading pulls with the lightweights, boy. That's right. Dude, this dude is a monster on a bike. What'd you say, 262? When I suck it in. Guys, I'm 220, so I, I know what it's like to be a Clydesdale. And this dude freaking rips, man. It's impressive. Nicky looks so tired, it might fall over. Party back here. But he heads straight for the jukebox and he orders here my beer. Red is on the wreck, been bouncing checks, got bills to spot on the car. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for checking out that video. Uh, that ride, 87.73 miles. Moving time was five hours, 29 minutes, and 44 seconds. And I think my total course time was maybe a minute a minute and a half more than that i stopped twice to just uh, refill and uh, get some nutrition elevation gain uh, 3923 feet my average on strava here was 16 even 16 mile an hour average even 3329 calories burned i just want to say i want to give a shout out to bobby thompson first of all uh thank you bobby for being a gravel ambassador um, these events, I mean, I would take these events over the big expensive ones any day. This is just done right. The downtown, the small town feel, great course. So thank you so much, Bobby. And I want to give a shout out to Anthony at Prairie Sailor. Anthony, you work so hard in your craft of making great clothing that fits great, that's stylish. This is the first time I wore my new Prairie Sailor Co. jersey today. Absolutely love it. It fits good. It feels good. It's stylish, so I do appreciate it. Guys, check out Prairie Sailor. I'll link them in the description of the video, but appreciate you guys watching. Remember, uh, remember to give the video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep crushing it. He got no reply, he said Jesus ain't